Two sides with unbeaten starts to the Championship season face off tonight as Aston Villa host Brentford. Including last season's playoff, Aston Villa have only lost one in their previous 17 league games at Villa Park, whilst Brentford have never won away from home at Aston Villa in six attempts across all competitions. Everything to play for at Villa Park. Aston Villa are winless in the last four Championship matches against Brentford. Touch could be an opportunity, stab goalwards, making the crossbar in the end. Promising early signs for Aston Villa. Aston Villa haven't actually kept a clean sheet in any of the last five championship games, but they've started pretty well tonight. Very cheaply though on that occasion. Brentford have suffered just one defeat in their previous 12 championship games, spanning last season and this. A positive start to this year. Jack Grealish shimmies away from his man. Grealish might fancy this from range. Does have to take the hit on, possibly into the arms of Bentley. Capacity for that kind of rage, just Grealish. Brentford moving away with the ball. And doing so in a confident manner too. Here's Grealish, picks up the pieces. Oh, lovely weight on that pass and Grealish. Kocha. Twisting and turning. Form of late as Kodja cross into the penalty area. Keeper rather waited for it. Here's Jack Grealish. Bentley did well at the second attempt. It's nicely worked. Brentford have got two players inside the penalty area. This is dangled in towards the back post. Might break now, and indeed it does. It's Morpé with the goal. Well, he's been in good goal-scoring form of late. And he lashed that one into the back of the net to give Brentford the lead. Well, Mohamed, it been there looking for an immediate response. Here's Grealish. The touch was intended towards Jack Grealish, didn't quite find him. Gets it back on this occasion. Grealish dangles the ball into the penalty. Yeah, they're far too close to Bentley. His distribution is immediate and his distribution is pretty decent as well. Stab behind though for a corner kick. Brentford leading by a goal to nil. Wedge towards the back post. It's a free header. And Villa just about had enough bodies back on the line to prevent more damage to the scoreline. Chester. And crowd urging their side on. Hammered it. A nice turn. Stop on goal as well. Behind for a corner kick. Not too long now before half time. Villa win the ball back. Here's Kodja. Kodja spins away from his man with ease. It's Jonathan Kodja. It's a quite brilliant goal to draw Aston Villa level. Well, that is vintage Jonathan Codger. Really didn't look on when he first picked up the ball. 
But the turn is so sharp. And the finish is emphatic. Hodges chasing after this one, goes down and asks the question of Jonathan Moss, who says the challenge was fair. Both sides have plenty of reasons to be encouraged going into the second half. And in the opening 45 minutes of the match, it could be another opportunity for Brentford right at the start of the second half. Doma just scampering down the left hand side through the gears cross into the penalty area is a good one would have been a lovely goal Koch is full of confidence Hutton A free kick, they're not going to get it. Duncan Moss was in a good position. It's nicely done. Aston Villa have got everyone back, and Brentford are knocking. At the door. That drop now. Indeed it does. Smart save. And Brentford a bit pretty intricate and popped the ball around really nicely in the final third tonight. This game evenly poised. The space to work with for Brentford now as well. Here's Ollie Watkins. Watkins with the step overs. Watkins just drags his strike wide. Good spell this for Brentford. Plenty of bodies forward. Really positive and committing lots of. Plays into the penalty area. Here's a really good chance. Keeper parries and is stabbed in. It's more play again. Here's a Brentford second of the night. And with just eight minutes to play until the 90 minute mark. It could prove to be a decisive moment. More play on hand. Wasn't particularly pretty. But he and Bradford won't care. It's a raking pass. Third goal for Brentford really would kill things. Just a bit of play. Rather dangerously. Here's a really good chance. Ankles are cute. Billy with bodies back. Somehow it stays out. Free kick for Aston Villa. She's taken too quickly for the referee, Jonathan Moss is liking. Villa trailing by two goals to one. And we're in stoppage time now. Flighted into the penalty area. And there's the header. And there's the goal. It's Kodja once more. A brace from Jonathan Kodja. The second right at the death has surely salvaged the point for Steve Bruce's men. Got in front of his man. And it's two apiece to Villa Park. 
Brentford can't believe it. There does go the full-time whistle. A very engaging contest and a really good game of championship football. Ultimately finishes Aston Villa 2, Brentford 2. Come and follow. Subscribe here.